On to race number four, which is the first of the Group 1s. It's the Longjin Hong Kong Vars 2400 meter Group 1 contest worth $20 million. Volgai Stahedson, the ARC 4th, then Pakistan star William Buick are back on board. Salo and runner up to Cracksman in the Coronation Cup back in June. Mirage Dancer, Group 3 winner from Goodwood in the summer. Eagle Way won the Jockey Club Cup last time out. Prince of Aaron, Melbourne Cup third. We've got Lise Grassier, that comes here last start. Group 1 winner from Japan, Krakosmia, who uh, finished behind. Lisa Grissier on that occasion. Latrobe with the question mark for Joseph O'Brien and Rostropovich, who was fifth in the Melbourne Cup for Aidan O'Brien. How does this one line up? Brad, it could be the race of the day for me. I tend to agree, Andrew. We've got ten international gallopers taking on four from Hong Kong and uh, all sort of uh, congregating from a, a wide area of places around the world. We know what Cosmia is capable of. We've seen it in Japan. She's a jump and run away type of uh, filly slash mare. If she doesn't lead, I'd be very surprised. She could even establish five, six lengths on them, possibly. We've seen the Japanese do that in the past. Mirage Dancer, the horse we've got on screen, will probably roll forward, get outside the lead, I would imagine. Uh, he's caught a lot of people's eye in the mornings, Mirage Dancer. Ryan Moore uh, teams up with him, and he's not good. So there's no questions he's ready to go for this particular race. Prince of Aaron coming out of the third in the Melbourne Cup. His work's been good since he's been got here as well, and he looks uh, pretty good as a Prince of Aaron. And I'm showing all the international horses here for the for the three I'm going to show. The th third one being Krakosmia. Now, uh, she's only a little filly, this one, but uh, or a mare, but her work was really good here. Then they've put her away and have just swimmed and trotted her or kept her uh, sort of out of the public eye. Keeping it nice and fresh for this race. Mm. All right, interesting. Uh, mm. 1.4, this is the first leg of the uh, triple trio. Uh, 1.4 million goes into the pool, so an estimated dividend in the region of $4 million here. We start with the Vars, and we'll start with one of the best races on the planet, and that's the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. Volgais finished in fourth, and Salo in a good run in sixth. Yep, this is arguably the best form in the world, isn't it? Over a mile and a half, particularly in the last, obviously, three to four months. Um, Volgeist very competitive here and Salowin as well held up momentarily Enable uh, beats Sea of Class I thought Volgeist ran on beautifully in, towards the end um, the question is has he recovered from a trip to America I mean he ran below par in America travelled back now to Hong Kong I, I think he's worth giving an excuse to. I mean, he hasn't done a huge amount of travelling and I think he's settled in OK. Yeah, it's interesting. And that solo one, I really liked this run where well, he just about beat Cracksman in the Coronation mm. Cup. That was a really good uh, run from him as well. So they're bringing good form lines in. Yeah, they certainly do. All right, we'll uh, stay with the overseas runners as well. Mirage does her next and his jockey, Ryan Moore. Yeah, he's, um, he's a young, progressive horse. He hasn't had much racing, but... Um, you know, he's, we think he's improving. Um, you know, the track and the ground shouldn't be a problem. It's his first time that he's travelled abroad. Um, he, he's got to improve a little bit. He's going into a Group 1, but we think it's a quite an open race and um, hopefully he'll give a good account of himself. Well, it's, it's a very open race. Um, uh, Wal Wal Geist is, uh set, sets the, the form level, but, um, you know, I think... Uh, you know, the Vars is usually a good race for the Europeans, but I think there's some good Hong Kong horses in here this year. I thought um, Exultant and um, Eagle Way both performed well lately, and, and obviously Pakistan Stars are a very high-class horse, if at his best. Yeah, he makes a good point, doesn't he, Ryan, about the, the local challenge. We shouldn't ignore them. They perform at a very high level. Yeah, themselves. Hong Kong have obviously struggled in this race over a long period of time. We've had our winner or two. Uh, but Exultant and Eagle Way are uh, clearly going in in the best form of their career and hopefully they can be competitive, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, the, the, the local horses have normally sort of really struggled. I mean, Dominant's the last one I can remember winning yeah. it, right? And with these horses here, though, like the likes of uh, Pakistan Star and Exultant, they have got staying pedigrees and staying blood. Pakistan Star's the X Factor, we know that, but his last two have been hard to follow. Yeah, they have indeed. <laughs> All right, well, let's look at uh, some more winning form here. This is Krakosmia out in front, ultimately run down, though, by uh, Lise Grissier. Yeah, this was over 2,200 metres. Now, I, I like Krakosmia. I like what I've seen uh, for that one gallop that uh, she's done here. And uh, Lise Grissier looks a really nice type as well. He, uh, she'll be ridden by Joe Marrera. Look, I can just see Crosmia, as you said, Brett, establishing a bit of a lead. There's a little bit of trouble behind. And at a massive price, I wouldn't be surprised if she led all the way. So 
I'm going to make it the long shot yeah, at 36 to 1. Aisha Nakari went around at a big price, didn't he, when he yeah. won the Cup? It's possible, no doubt. I think uh, Lise Grasher, the turn of acceleration she showed there, it suggests she's a very yeah. exciting young horse. And Joe knows her well. He has said she's got to settle. If she does that, produces something like we saw in the QE2 there, she could be right in it. Mm. All right. Azira is next. And one of the girls, Dermot Well Trainer. We're talking about the, uh, the arc form uh, being some of the best in the world. Well, the horse that ran second in the arc, Yellow Jacket, is about to win this, Sea of Class. Yes, and I think it's fair to say in the end, Andrew, that Sea of Class was in a class of her own here. Mm. I mean, she did run away, obviously, a fair way in front of Azira, who held down third. We know Sea of Class and arguably could have even beaten a naval in the arc um, with a dashing run late. So it is a very strong form line. We've spoken about being probably the strongest form line um, on the planet. But I think... Azira's got a little bit to find on a neighbour and sea of class, and maybe that brings her back to the pack a little. Yeah, I, I didn't end up putting her in a, in the mm. end, but as you say, that she's been beaten by some class horses. Daria Khanna won in those colours a few years yeah, back, and she right. was uh, uh, an unassuming type too, and we know Dermot wouldn't be travelling here with uh, one to run third. No, he no. knows what he's doing, doesn't yeah. he, Dermot? Well, when he travels once, so definitely take notes of that. This is the local form, though, the Jockey Club Cup, the main lead-up race. Um, Eagle Way wins. Him and Exultant had solid preps. Pakistan star, very disappointing. Yeah, he was. Now, of the locals, I'm going to get Eagle Way into the numbers because I think he's a horse who's in great form at the moment. He's done nothing wrong all season and he won this race very impressively. Exultant's going to appreciate the step up and trip, there's no question. What do you do with Pakistan star? I wouldn't touch him at 2.6. No, no, that price. It's incredible, isn't it, the price? It yeah. shows you how many people love the horse. <laughs> um, we know he's mercurial. We know he can switch off. I think he dug his toes in there after he got halfway down the straight, yeah. and then he was switched off as well. But he's going to get a nice run on the fence. He's going to be locked in, unable to escape, and probably kept focus because of that. In that type of zone, mentally, uh, could be there. Could mm. be there. We've seen him sit in a similar position before and win. Yeah. over the course and distance. But if his head's right, he's in it. If it's not, throw your ticket away. Mm. Well, Buick will put him to sleep. He won't. He's in a race till halfway down the well, straight. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he, can, he can win if he wants to. That's yeah. probably what we can say. Yeah. There it <laughs> so who does win, though, Paul? Well, I'm going to go with a, do an Asian Hikari and do a Deja Vu and Krakosmia, the Japanese horse, uh, to lead all the way at a massive price, uh, 36 to 1. Raj Dancer looks very good as well with Ryan Moore aboard and uh, his track work in the morning has been very, very, very good. Eagle Way, the best of locals. At least Grisier obviously beat Krakosmia last up, but at least has got Joe aboard. It'll come up at single figures and Krakosmia is going to be a massive price and there was only a head or so between them. So in 11, 5, 6 and 10, happy to go 11 each way and take a take a chance with it. Yeah, we, I think you'll get a good run uh, out on the lead, mm. no doubt about that. I get the feeling potentially she could be overhauled uh, Krakosmia by some classy animals. I think Mirage Dancer is certainly on the way up. His track work during the week has been terrific. He's been a real standout, I think. Volgeist has got the score on the board. I'm willing to overlook that performance in the US. Never finished worse than fifth in his career, this horse. Uh, Lise Grisher is a talented filly from Japan who has an exceptional turn of acceleration. And Salawin hasn't won for a long time. He's only won twice in his career, but eight Group 1 appearances for two seconds, two thirds and a fourth. Good draw. Needs to be respected. 5, 1, 10 and 3. Yep, 5 for me as well on top. He's not Highland Real yet, but no. he might be that type of horse, I think, Mirage Dancer. You spoke to me, Andrew, two weeks ago when the fields come out. You said he's a very similar horse to Poet's Word. Mm. He ran OK here. Look what he's done since. Absolutely. Mm. All right, Mirage Dancer goes on top for me in the Vars. Up next for us is the Longjean Hong Kong Sprints. First leg of the six-up.